guys, Cookson for the win here. Oh yeah, I'm welcome back to another Pokemon or Wi Fi battle. In this video today, I'll be versing one of my viewers actually that I versed on my stream last night named Carter. And as you can see, he has a primal ground on his team. I allowed him to bring this last night because I kind of wanted a challenge, and he also has a weird Pokemon, Braviary. Now, I haven't seen a Braviary before, so I didn't know what this thing was packing. But yeah, and he also has a Smeargle as a setup. And on my team, you can see I have a weird Pokemon, Electivire. And I also have a Mega Diancy, which is the switch up from my other Megas in my last videos. So anyways, let's get straight into the spell. So at the beginning, I did predict him to go out to his Smeargle, so I went out to my Electivire. No, not my Conk Elder, because I knew this thing was probably focused at, so it wouldn't have really mattered if I went for... Conk Elder's Drain Punch or something, because he was going to get a setup anyways. So I go for a Thunder Punch here. No, not a Brick Break, because again, it doesn't matter if I 2-hit or 1-hit KO it, but it does get off Spore, and right here at this point, I'm thinking, he's going to set up on me. He's going to either use, I don't know, Calm Mind or something, or he's going to set up Stealth Rocks or Sticky Webs just to make that Primal Groudon sweep my team. But surprisingly, he doesn't set up at all and goes for a Baton Pass. Yeah, I know, a baton pass. It's kind of a weird play. I'm guessing he wanted a stylish switch out, and he probably wanted to get rid of this Electivire at the beginning, so he brought out his Salamence and used Intimidate. Now, I'm not keeping Electivire in here at all, because he is asleep, number one. He's going to take at least one hit, and he's Intimidated, so he's not going to do any damage, no matter what. So I bring out my Conk Elder. He is super bulky, so I knew he was going to be able to tank a shot from Salamence, and this Salamence actually went for a... Dragon Rush and then Hydro Pump. Now, Dragon Rush is a viable move on Salamence, and same with Hydro Pump, but you don't really see them that much because they're not really the best choice. But I go for an Ice Punch here, taking out his Salamence, and now I have a 6 to 5 lead. Now, he sends out his Greninja, and I'm thinking here, okay, he's gonna scald me. Uh, let's go for a Mach Punch. Hopefully, we can take it on one hit, get the high roll, but I do not, sadly. He actually tanks it. But he goes for a Water Ball here, which is honestly really weird. I wouldn't have expected someone to pull Water Balls. I think it's a viable move on Greninja, but why not put Scald or Surf? It's just better. But he takes out my Conk Elder here, and I bring out my Electivire, hoping I can get that 65% chance, I think it is, to wake up at this point. And I do not. I am still asleep, which is sad. And he goes for a Smackdown. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, this is an in-game team, and... The I tell him that in chat, and no, it's not an in-game team. It's just a random Greninja he threw in there. He just wanted a shiny one. He didn't want his normal one. So, he uses Fling here, and I'm still asleep. Yes, Fling. And he flings not, not Life Orb, not Focus Sash, nothing you would think would be on a Greninja. He flings Mystic Water at me. Now, I, I'm pretty sure he's just showing off the weird moves on this thing and goes for a Water Chagrin at the end. Uh, which is really funny, actually. I had a good laugh when he used these moves. It was giving me cancer with my friend Chaotic in the stream. It was just so funny. But on this turn right here, he gets a crit. That was pretty bad. He almost got five hits, too. But I go for a Thunder Bunch because I do wake up, finally. 5% chance, or not 5% chance to wake up. I think it's a 95% chance, actually. Didn't want that 5% chance to stay sleeping. But I take out his Greninja here, and now I think it's a 5-2-4 lead. And he sends out his Primal Grotto. Now, this thing, this thing is just power in its own. It, it's shiny, and it's black, which looks really cool. It's intimidating, it's strong, it has amazing stats. And on top of that, it gets a ability that boosts his fire moves. So, this thing is just a big threat in its own. I go for a Thunder Punch because I am Choice Bandit, and it was kind of a sack play. And he goes for a Fire Punch, taking out my Electivire, making it a 4-2-4. Tie. Now I send out my Diancy here, and I'm like, okay, Diancy has some pretty good defense and special defense. It could probably tank any hit that Primal Ground and sends at me. Um, at least one, at least. But I go for a Earth Power here. But before that, he goes for a Thunder Punch. Now I don't know if Rock resists Fire, and that's why he went for Thunder Punch, or he doesn't know for exact exactly. But didn't really matter at this point because I went for an earth power taking out almost all of his damage and then taking him out with this diamond storm now yeah the primal Groudon didn't actually do that much work on my team I was surprised I thought it was gonna sweep me but Mega Diancy pulled through and I also got that defense boost with which is really nice 
This Gallade right here isn't going to do shit to me. He probably didn't really have anything else to send out but his Braviary and his Smeargle. And again, Smeargle is a set of Pokemon and Braviary isn't really the strongest Pokemon in the world. But he goes Mega here and of course since he didn't get his speed boost yet, my Mega Diancie does outspeed. And I get that Moonblast off taking out his Gallade or Mega Gallade or even Kaiba if you want to call it that. And I think I have a 4-2-2 lead at this point. Now he sends out Smeargle, he's like, ah, I'm gonna get rid of this right now, right here. Doesn't really matter at this point, uh, and I go for a Diamond, Sto Diamond Storm. Probably hoping to get another defense boost, and insult to injury, I get a crit on that Smeargle. Uh, he should have set up at the beginning with a thing, I don't know why he didn't. He probably would have done more damage with that Primal Groudon. But he sends out his Braviary now, this is his last Pokemon, and I just go for a Diamond Storm. Taking out this thing. This thing was not a threat whatsoever. Braviary, I don't understand why people use him. It's a Murka, but not strong Pokemon in any world. So GG Wall Play Carter, hope to verse you again in my stream. Uh, maybe tonight, maybe later on in life, doesn't matter. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Pokemon Ors Wi-Fi battle. This is my third one on my channel. I'm hoping to do these weekly sooner or later, but until then, you never know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember if you didn't, shoot that like button with coming here, man.